So you just got your brand spanking new gaming laptop, but you're very unexperienced with laptops and you have heard all the horror stories. Well, not to worry. Today, I'll be telling you all the things you should do first when setting up a gaming laptop so that it'll perform at its absolute best. I use these settings on all the laptops that I review, so it should be pretty handy. Let's get right into it. When you unbox your new laptop, pay very close attention. Check for any damage on the outside and inside of the laptop. If the postman yeeted your package over the fence, or if the Chinese child labor worker dropped your laptop in the factory, return the laptop right away if you can. Most companies will understand it and will just refund you. When you're done unboxing your laptop, first plug in the charger and then turn the laptop on. Some laptops don't boot at all without the charger attached. Now it's healthy for the battery to charge to 100% for the first charging cycle, so don't unplug it until it is fully charged. After a couple of logos and loading screens, you'll be greeted by the Windows setup screen. Just go through the setup normally until the internet connection screen shows up. Do not connect to the Wi-Fi yet. If you connect to the internet on your laptop right now, you'll be forced to log in with your Microsoft account every single time you turn it on. And that has a lot of unnecessary shit tied to it, so let's bypass it. When you're at this screen, press Shift and F10 at the same time. This should bring up the command line or CMD. Press on this window and type in OOBE forward slash bypass NRO and then press enter. The laptop will now reboot and you can continue with the setup. Now when we get to the internet screen, there will be an option in the bottom here that says no, I do not have internet. Click that. Now you can continue the setup with an offline Windows account. Make sure to just press no or skip every option that Windows offers you. This is just spyware and other various bloat. And voila, Windows is now installed. You should have installed Linux. Now before doing anything, just let the laptop sit there for a minute or two. You don't want to cold start it. First, I always let Windows install all the updates that it needs. This includes potential BIOS and driver updates, which are very important. After they're all done, just restart your laptop. Now every gaming laptop has its own gaming application, which controls fan profiles and performance. ASUS has Armory Crate and MyASUS, MSI has MSI Center, Acer has Predator Sense, Razer has Synapse, and Lenovo has Lenovo Vantage. Open your gaming laptop's gaming application and make sure to download all of the necessary updates. When those are all done, and probably after another reboot, you should open NVIDIA GeForce Experience and download the latest drivers for your GPU. There's a good chance you already have the newest drivers from those Windows updates, but it's always nice to make sure. Now that the system is up to date, we can start cleaning it up a bit. Let's start by removing any pre-installed apps that we don't need. Just type remove into the search bar and click remove programs. Antiviruses and other sponsored software can slow down your laptop by a lot. And since Windows' built-in Defender is a lot better than those scam software, you should just remove all the antiviruses. Just make sure to keep your laptop's gaming apps, as most of the time they're pretty essential to the function of your laptop. Microsoft Teams will constantly bug you as well, so make sure to remove that disgusting RAM-eating pig. Next, you should right-click on the Windows logo and go to Task Manager. Here we click on the Startup Apps or this little speedometer symbol if there's no text. These are all the applications that start together with Windows. If you have too many apps starting after booting, it can really slow down your PC. Only keep the ones turned on that are essential, like your laptop's gaming apps. And Steam and Discord, probably. Now we're going to tweak some settings so that your laptop performs the absolute best in every scenario. First, go to your gaming app. Most gaming laptops have performance profiles that influence your laptop's fan speed, power draw, and overall performance. For example, a silent or quiet profile will typically limit power usage to the CPU and GPU so that the laptop doesn't get as hot and the fans can stay quieter. Most of the time this also improves battery life by a lot, so set it to that quieter silent profile when you're on battery. But when you're going to play games on the laptop, set it to high performance in the gaming app. This should be called Turbo or something like that on most laptops. And just make sure to plug in your laptop while gaming. Lastly, click on your battery icon in the bottom right corner of the screen and press power and sleep settings. Here we're going to set the performance mode to best performance. This adds a little extra performance during gaming as well. 
Another thing that will give you quite a bit more performance is turning off the NVIDIA overlay if you don't use it. To do this, go to the NVIDIA app or GeForce Experience and navigate to Settings. Then just turn off the overlay. This can actually add 10 to 15% more performance on some laptops. So make sure to turn it off if you don't use it. Now it's very important that you stress the living hell out of this laptop in the beginning. You paid a lot of money for this thing, so it should perform at its absolute best. To test whether it works correctly and doesn't blue screen or overheat due to a defect, we're going to benchmark it and monitor its temperatures. I always install Cinebench R23 for a CPU stress test and 3D Mark Time Spy for a GPU and CPU mix stress test. Both of these are free and just downloadable online. To check whether temperatures stay in check, Download HWinfo64. Then just run the stress tests and keep watch for the temperatures. Also listen for any strange noises during the stress test. If a fan is broken, you'll hear it right away. Of course, some laptops are cooled better than others, but as long as your CPU stays below 95 degrees and your GPU below 85, everything should be fine. Finally, here's some tips and tricks to take the best care of your laptop. First of all, these beasts need a lot of air to cool their components. They can get very hot, so make sure they can actually get that air. You should always keep your laptop on a flat surface or a place where it has good airflow. For the best cooling, keep it slightly off the ground or even better, get a cooling pad. I don't have a cooling pad, so I can't show you. <laughs> Keeping your laptop as cool as possible will make it last quite a bit longer. Secondly, I'll tell you the best way to take care of your battery. Don't stick a knife in it. That's a pretty good looking knife, right? The healthiest state for a lithium-ion battery to be in is between 50 and 85%. So try as much as possible to keep your battery between those two percentages. Some laptops have a built-in battery protection system that stops charging the laptop at 85 or 90%, so you should probably just turn that on. Of course, you should just use your laptop the way that you want it, but this is the healthiest for the battery. Of course, it's also healthy for your laptop if you open it up like once a year to clean out the dust and maybe even replace the thermal paste if that's dried up. But I wouldn't recommend this for an unexperienced person because you could easily break something. And a lot of modern laptops actually have liquid metal instead of thermal paste. So you really don't want to mess with that stuff. Just leave it be. Blowing some compressed air into the fans should be enough for now. Apart from that, you can just do whatever the hell you want with it, obviously. Just don't leave it sitting in the sun and don't use it as a murder weapon. And it should be absolutely fine. That's it for today, folks. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Oh no, Unless by the gods. This can't be happening. I have time to talk. Much to do.